Newton has been cut by the New England Patriots. Whoa. Cam Newton cut by the New England Patriots. Adam Schefter just tweeted this. We're getting this in real time. Max, I'll start with you. Your reaction. Well, I mean, my mind goes to a couple places. Maybe if Cam wasn't starting, he didn't want to be there. Okay. But where it goes... Exactly. E yeah, where it goes even, like, more importantly to me, I thought Cam looked outstanding. Mac Jones also did. Uh, I thought game two of the preseason was the best either one of them looked that I saw for Cam. And I thought, oh, Cam took the lead here. It's his job to lose, I thought. Yeah. And then he had to go through protocols for the unvaccinated. Played a big factor. He has not said that he, he, first of all, he has refused to make public whether or not he's been vaccinated, calling it a private decision. We're in a public health crisis. I don't know why people insist on this, uh, this idea that it's private. It's actually a public issue. But... By, but, but the protocols he went through are only for the unvaccinated. And he was having a good season last year with no preseason, no practice, new team, no receivers, no defense. He was having a good year and got COVID, missed the game, and was not the same for the rest of the season to the point where we speculated, maybe he has COVID fog. And then he came out weeks later and said, I just haven't felt right. Mm -hmm. And after that experience last year, he still went through the protocols only for the unvaccinated, where I thought he was winning the race, opening the door. Bill Belichick said the door was then open. Yep. This is the result. Well, he, he, it opened up Pandora's box, right? And for this organization, I think one of the things for Bill Belichick and the Patriots organization, they started getting deja vu again, right, from last year, because they felt like they were doing good up, to, up until that point when Cam caught COVID and he had to miss that time. So for them, I tell you, Bill Belichick is, is the only person I know, and when we talked about this the other day, uh, Mac Jones being a first-round draft pick, I think Bill Belichick is the only human being in the National Football League that will cut a first-rounder, cut a second-rounder, cut anybody on the football team, and nobody's ever safe. Doug? Here's the thing I'll say. First and foremost, uh, Mac Jones won the quarterback job. Uh, now, why they cut Cam Newton? Was, it, was that Cam Newton asking to be cut if he didn't win the job because we knew that Cam Newton played so well in the preseason? That I don't know. But the one thing I think we can surmise from the tweet by Adam Schefter is that Mac Jones won the starting quarterback job. Now, why does the vaccinated or unvaccinated play, play into it? I'm not sure. Just strictly sticking from a football standpoint, though, I think we can surmise, and I think it, it's pretty easy, that Josh McDaniels, who's the offensive coordinator, and Bill Belichick, who's the head coach, have chosen to go with Mac Jones, which is the choice I thought they should have made all along. Now, as we fast forward with Cam Newton, where does Cam Newton go? Because if he doesn't want to be a backup in New England, where is he going to be a backup? Where is he going to be even, even challenged for the starting job right now? Uh, to me, that's a question that I, hopefully Cam Newton and his camp have figured out. I don't know if that... I don't quite understand why you cut him, though. Because you have Brian Hoyer and, and you have Jared Stidham. Are you saying that, Jared, that Brian Hoyer is going to be your backup quarterback? Did Cam Newton ask to be cut? Like, these are questions that I'm still a little confused as we get this breaking news live right now. But I think yeah. the one thing I'm not confused about, Molly uh, and guys, is that Ke uh, Mac Jones won the starting quarterback job in mm -hmm. New England, which he should have. For some reason, I, I don't know why my mind just goes to COVID and, and maybe that if you, you need your backup to always be available and with protocols, if someone hasn't been vaccinated, maybe you need someone that could be more reliable and can't miss five days. I want to go back to what you said and then obviously I want you guys to jump in because you said, Boog, that you felt Mac Jones should have been the starting quarterback all along. Tell me why. Because Mac Jones gives Josh McDaniels the offensive coordinator and Bill Belichick the head coach to run the offense that they're more consistent and more comfortable with, similar to what they ran with Tom Brady. And if you go a step further, how does Mac Jones play the position? He throws the football with accuracy and timing, and he, make, and he makes great decisions. Max, you said yourself, those are two of the most important components of playing the position. Bill Belichick told Mike Reese earlier today in the press conference, what's going to go into making this job? Consistency and playmaking. Consistency is not Cam Newton. Cam Newton has been anything but consistent outside of 2015. So all along, when you looked at all the factors, everything pointed 
to Mac Jones being the quarterback. Now, we still get amazed because we, as older people sitting on this panel and, and on national television, we think back to Cam Newton of 2015. That guy doesn't exist anymore. The MVP doesn't exist. He's wildly inaccurate with the football, and he's inconsistent. So all along, Molly, I thought Mac Jones gave this team the best chance to win because he's got playmakers, the two tight ends, the two wide receivers they signed in the offseason. He's got a tremendous offensive line. The defense is going to be better with Hightower back. I still need to see what's going on with Gilmore at the cornerback spot. But overall, Mac Jones is a plug-and-play guy with all the weapons around him. So I thought he was going to win the job regardless of whether Cam Newton was cut or not today. And, Book, I agree with you to a certain degree. Like, I, I, I thought up to the point where Cam Newton had to miss that time that he didn't do anything to lose that, football, uh, lose his, that quarterback job to Mac Jones. But what he did do was open up Pandora's box and Mac Jones took advantage of the situation. He went out in those joint practices. He, he, he performed in each one of those practices. I, somebody said he completed 18 uh, passes in a row. Listen, unless you're throwing routes on air, sometimes it's even hard to do that on routes on air because you have people who don't want to look the ball in all the time. But that's amazing to me. But what, what do right. coaches want their players to do? They want them to take things from the practice field to the game field. That's what Mac Jones did. And I'll say you look at that last preseason game, Cam Newton didn't look sharp. I told you, he was throwing outside the numbers. He was skipping passes. Passes are low. And I told you, I did not like that interception that he threw uh, at all. So I thought Mac Jones won this job the last week and a half or last week, not from the start. Um, Mac Jones, you, you made a reference book earlier to the most important things for a quarterback. He, I would just say arm strength and accuracy, those things are prerequisites. You know, you have to be able to make all the throws. You have to do it at a certain level of consistency. And then beyond that, you have some extra. But Mac Jones certainly has the requisite arm strength and accuracy. And once you have that, really, what's the most important thing? Decision-making, the speed of the decisions and the quality of the decisions. And one thing about Mac Jones was he came to the Patriots, to Bill Belichick, as advertised. He came, went from Saban to Belichick as advertised, which is he made really good decisions really quickly. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.